Hey there friends, welcome back to the channel Creating with Sarah. Today's video I have for you my setup in my A5 um, agenda. It's the color blends from Erin Condren. So if you guys want to check out my setup and walkthrough, then keep on watching. So hey there, I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here on my channel. So I love planning and being creative and I definitely like sharing that with you. So today's video I have for you my setup finally in my A5. Uh, it's a ring agenda from Erin Condren. This is the color blends beautiful folio here. So today is going to be a walkthrough and setup on this. I have planned in it this past week it was my first time utilizing this and then I will have a late late July lineup and talk with you um, about the planners that I'm using but right now I'm kind of testing this one out because it's an hourly it's a daily hourly but um, I'm kind of juggling this planner with the agenda coil bound this is the harmony neutral planner so I'll share more about that in my lineup. So make sure you're subscribed so that way you can find all the deets. Okay, so again, this is the color blends. It's super pretty. It's like a uh, faux leather. I'm not sure if it's vegan, but it's got like beautiful color blend effect. So it's really pretty. The gradient is really pretty. And I love it on this cover. It's kind of looks like a cute little clutch. So it's got this magnetic closure here. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I have everything set up in this. So this is a planner that I talked about using for downstairs and kind of incorporating it to be more family oriented. So getting my family involved, I usually don't do that. My husband's very digital. Um, but I thought since it's the summertime, I can just test it out and that's how I'm utilizing it. So it goes downstairs most of the time. And what I would like to do is try to set this up as much as I can <laughs> because I'm a hybrid and I love decorating and decking things out for my planner. So I'm hoping to do that today. So after I go over this planner, um, I want to set up my pages for the week so I can just leave it downstairs because my office has all my planner supply stuff. So a lot of the times I'm just carting a bunch of stuff up and down the stairs and it's just a whole thing. So this is actually going to be downstairs in our family um, office space and, um, and I'll share a little bit more about that. But that's why I got this planner to utilize it in the summer for that. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so over here, I have this Erin Condren like list pad. It's kind of a sticky note. I didn't realize this last time, but it is a sticky note list pad. And I use, I'm gonna use it to meal plan. Cause again, I'm gonna leave this planner downstairs. All my cookbooks are downstairs. I have a computer downstairs. So if I want to look something like a recipe or tutorial, so I'm gonna utilize this for making meal plans. So I have that there, it fits perfectly. Um, that's an Erin Condren product. And then these pockets here, I have sticky notes, this little cute die cuts just for like inspo, and I have band-aids, because again, this is kind of like my mom planner. Um, always need band-aids. I talked about that in my, what I would like to set this up for, so I'll leave that video down below. Um, I have some eyeglass wipes, because I use those all the time. Another cute sticky note. These are from um, Happy Planner. So I can use these larger sticky notes. That's what fits in these pockets really nicely. And then what else fits in these pockets really nicely are like um, smaller mini stickers like this. Um, so these are Nicole Hutch design stickers and they're super cute and miniature and they fit perfectly in these pockets and so I think if you can find stickers like this that are like daily planner stickers I think these would be great for on the go especially if you don't want to um, cart a bunch of sticker books so right now I'll just have two at the moment I am working on something to share with you all to make your own so definitely stay tuned for that alrighty so over here I have my live love posh pen She's super gorge. Look how pretty she is. 
So it says Live Love Posh. It's got these crystals here. It's a gel pen. And I thought it matched really well with this because this planner has like these yellow gold rings. So this is a six binder ring planner. It does come with like a nifty ruler. So I just kept that there. Um, and then I have the inserts I have is actually Colorful Harmony. And here's the vellum for this planner. And I decided to just put some clear stickers that match the little trim around here. And then I already put my name in here and I just used some alphabet stickers from Happy Planner. They're like leopard. Okay, so here, how I'm using this, again, this is something that I'm trying to test out and so involving more of my family. So here for the goals, um, since it's only like a six month insert right now or planner, um, it only gives you six blocks. So I don't know what to do with the other two down here, but these four here, I thought I would do family goals. So like personal goals of everybody. So I don't know how much of this planner I'm going to show. So that's why I'm kind of filming this before I start filling it all out because I don't like to share a lot of personal planning when it comes to my family stuff. But if I share this again, I will definitely put sticky notes over it like I did here. So yeah, I have a each family member and maybe just one or two goals. It doesn't have to be really big, but something that I could help them with or we're all trying to work on. So that's what I decided to do there. And then over here, once I have time, I'm going to sit down and fill out. The yearly calendars I really like just using for holidays, no school days or sick days, um, vacation days, stuff like that. So that's definitely what I'll do this is just do like school um, calendar. So I'll hi highlight that later. The bottom here I'm putting important contacts. So that's why this is covered. It's mainly like medical things. So that's what I put there. And then this is for next year. So again, I'll probably do the same thing for the school year um, for that side. If I'm still using this planner, I don't know yet. That's why I'm kind of testing this out for the summer. But I actually have July all the way to December in here. Again, this is only six months. So I think I can commit to that. Usually when it's like trying planners out, it's either like I give it like three months. So we'll see. So I want to share my dividers. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I did share this like in a reel. It's like a cute little quick, easy thing to decorate your dividers. And because I love being a seasonal planner, I wanted to decorate these dividers um, and I used Live Love Posh stickers so definitely follow me on Instagram and check out that reel because I do share the sticker books that I use. Um, so here's July, super cute, you know, a summer theme. Here's August, here's September, here's October, November, and December and then I'll go ahead and flip to the back so I do have stickers that come with this insert so I just left those in there and then in the pocket I have some Erin Condren sticker sheets I think this came in one of the seasonal boxes that they do maybe the spring one and then I ordered these these are the color blends stickers for the A5 because this has like a little pocket here so I just it's easy to put some sticker sheets there and then I have this nifty notepad you can customize these um, at erincondren.com if you've never done that there's a link down below for you um, but it's really neat you get to change the other way um, and they show you like a preview and everything before you buy it so it's really cool and then you can change this too so you have line blank and I think dot grid so that's just extra paper for me to have just to jot down things okay or if my kids ask me hey mom do you have paper I can pull that out okay so let's go back to July all right so here's my monthly view um my monthly view, I'm going to keep it 
like pretty minimum. I don't want to double plan, but if I do, it's okay because I'm just trying to get um, used to planning in multiple planners and trying to figure out which one I want to use for the following year. But here, I just basically put one main thing that I need to focus on, which is uh, my daughter's camp. So that's all that's in here because I mainly, I mainly use my petite as my catch-all and that one's pretty much planned out for all the July plans. So then I have this cute little dashboard that I also made and shared a little reel on it. But it's basically a simple project. You just take um, one of your Erin Condren like sticky note thing. You take all of them off and you just customize your own. I have like a bunch of random sticky notes and all you do is just take some tape runner and put that on there so they're all just reapplied with tape runner and I think it's really cute. It's actually really fun to do. So I have that here. And then you have like this blank page here, which I haven't really decided what I'm gonna use for. Um, again, this is mainly for downstairs, maybe just taking notes, taking a sticky note and making notes. Um, and then over here, um, I decided to put birthdays, top events, and then down here, I put a, um, it's actually a sidebar sticker, but I turned it horizontal and it's just gonna be like my favorite things from this month. So that's what I'm gonna put there. Haven't really decided what I'm gonna put here, but I have put like little stickers here at the bottom. So this one says 4th of July. And the sticker book that I use for these pages, let me just grab that real quick. So this is the sticker book that I use. It's Celebrate Each Day. It is a designer sticker book, edition seven from Erin Condren. Got all the months in it. And this is kind of also what I use to prep or set up this, these pages. So in my monthly, just just go back real quickly. I just added one sticker to each month, nothing big because this planner does have a lot of color which i think is fun so it, it definitely gives me a start or a theme to you know decorate with those colors so there's july there's um august because it's back to school then we have september sweater weather october trick-or-treat i love halloween and then we have november thankful and blessed you know it's you know thanksgiving time and we have happy holidays i celebrate christmas so i did that and then i also each page has just a little bit of stickers decorated here so i think that's what i'm going to do with this planner so that way i have a quick idea so i'm not spending too much time on it as i'm just going to do my best to color coordinate with the planner inserts all right so going back to July so that's my dashboard and how I'm going to utilize that then I didn't start this planner till the 11th so I took out the other pages and let me just say this is my first time using this type of layout ever so it's okay I've seen other planners do an amazing job with this layout. It just looks really great. Mine is just like a rough draft, if you will, with a little bit of washi and some decorative stickers. <laughs> so um, I'm sure it'll get better in time when I get the hang of using this layout. But um, so I'm basically just mapping out my day and getting a hang of using a layout like this or planning out my day by um, an hourly layout and then I decided to use the to-do sections for me just like you know top three things and then for the for my girls with their top three things that they need to get done and then using the bottom for either ideas of what to do like for the girls in the summer um, like researcher things and then maybe just adding a sticker because I don't want to feel like I have to use everything in this planner so I just said it, you know, I'll just do it every other day. So that's basically it. Uh, and I decided to go with red and blue because we're in July and I just decided to do those colors. So again, the same thing here. Um, and then instead of using the, <laughs> I do not like these stickers. These are for the big and happy planner. That's why they're so large. So I went with Jessica's Live Love Posh, her functional 
chic stickers, like the rainbow set, those have like these headers. So I decided to do like mom goals, my kids goals, for this page. I was trying to do some lettering stuff, not really the best with that. So again, just playing around. And then this was birthday day. Um, so I did, I like this one a little bit better because I like the colors. I don't know if I liked what I was doing here, but it's whatever. Okay, so I haven't done Sunday because today is Sunday. So um, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this page. Maybe it'll be for when I go to meal plan and write out lists and things. But basically that's how I'm using this planner. It's just a map out for me in the day and then small to-do list and that's it. So I'll go ahead and flip through again here. Just add in one little sticker and I'm gonna highlight and try to color coordinate as best as I can because I think I like that. Um, so yeah, just use the sticker book here. Didn't do anything there. There's September. There's October, it's really cute. I just love the small stickers, something minimal. Here's November. And then December. And that's basically it. Um, and I'm also trying to get used to Erin Condren's paper. So if, if you're new to Erin Condren, it's really great quality paper. It's really thick, but um, it's definitely more of a, has like a warm tone white to it than a bright white planner paper. So just trying to get used to that. Now what I'd like to do, since I've basically went through this whole planner as a setup and shared with you how I'm using this, um, I think it's gonna be great. So again, I will have like more stickers here. And then um, I may have another like planner bag. I have a lot of like happy planner organization bags. Let me just grab one to share. Okay, so I have this bag that I may set up and put downstairs to put like more sticker books or maybe like the tiny sticker pads that I have. So that way I can use at the bottom to put like quotes and things. Um, but yeah, this has, this house is all my other bags. <laughs> I have a lot of planner bags, but I think this would be cute to set up for downstairs in case I wanted more sticker books. Let's go ahead and prep these pages through the 24th. Right, so basically I am, let's see, now I've got my pages all mixed up. But basically I'm just gonna take some washi tape and then um, cover this down at the bottom and then I will grab the stickers for like the goals to split up in the to-dos. So this is the washi that I'm gonna use. So this one's simply gilded. It's like a textured swirl with like micro glitter. Then I have this popsicle one. Um, I think I got this at Michael's a long time ago, maybe, or at a scrapbooking expo. And then this one is Planner Kate, I believe. It's um, birthday balloons because my dad's birthday is on Monday. So I'm gonna use this one for the 18th and 19th. Just up at the top. Okay, so then I'm gonna work on the next two days and then we'll go back and place stickers up at the bottom. So I think I'm gonna use the swirls. For Wednesday and Thursday 
And this one, I don't have to turn my pages upside down because I don't have any, like, a print like this where I had to turn the page upside down. This one's a little bit thicker. Okay, for Friday and Saturday, I will use the popsicles. They're really cute. Okay, for Sunday, maybe I should pick one more. Okay, so for Sunday, I'm gonna use this other one from Simply Gilded. It's the one with the little um, seagulls. The little seagulls here, it's really cute. I'll share a close up because you can't really see it until it's on paper. I got this in the summer box that she released. I think I did an unboxing. Okay, I think I'm gonna redo this one only because I just I want a full bird right there. Maybe I'll just put this one at the bottom so I don't waste it. Okay, let's try this again. Yay, super cute. Okay, so we have all that down. Now it's time to put down the stickers at the bottom. Okay, so I have some Happy Planner stickers. I have Celebrate, I have Happy Life, and these are all stickers that I pulled for my stash for the summer. So I do this thing where I rotate through my sticker stash. I used to call it Shop My Stash. <laughs> A lot of you love that, so I may bring it back. I just haven't decided yet. I have Summer and stick babe essential because this is a really cute little icon daily sticker and i thought maybe i could fit these up here at the top um i don't worry about this too much i kind of just leave it there i'm not going to white that out every time um, because i kind of do a lot of white outing in my petite planner so i'll just leave it there and for the headers um i think i'm going to do pink or blue since that's what i have going on in the washi so i have the functional chic pink blooms and blue blooms. So again, this is Live Love Posh. It's a collection set or you can buy them individually. I will have the link down below for you to check it out. All right, so let's do birthday first. So maybe I can do a hat and then see if I have a quote or something here. I think one of these would be really cute. So I'll just take the vertical boxes because um, I haven't really used those too much. And so this will be a great way for me to use up these stickers and then I think I will take a little hat and just kind of do like a sideways thing and then I can just make a little memo about my dad there okay so on this side I will leave this blank and let's add a stick babe. And Monday usually is a grocery day. So I'm just gonna go with a clear sticker so I don't make this video too long. Um, and then we'll do some prepping or something here. Been trying to prep or sh sh been trying to show my girls 
more prep work for themselves because we're getting into the school year and they need to be able to do that. And so we're doing like healthy prep meals and things like that. So um, that's a cute sticker for that. Okay, let's move on to Wednesday and Thursday. So for this one, let's use Happy Life. I haven't really used this one too much. I know this one has a lot of quotes. So let's see. This time, I think maybe, no, we'll go ahead and put it here on Wednesday. And then I'll leave this blank on Thursday for like notes or something. So this one's really cute. I love the color pa palette in this one and graphics. It's super fun. Um, this came back out in 2020. And I think it was at Hobby Lobby. I think I just want to utilize one of these. Okay. I think I like this one. I'm filled with gratitude for all my blessings. Okay. And now I feel like I need a deco sticker there in that empty space. Maybe we'll use these hearts because they kind of match those swirl washi. So maybe I'll just do that. Oh, that one ripped. Look at that, that one just ripped on me. I think it's because um, it's so humid in my office. Because of the heat, our summer is so hot. Okay, cute. All right, so now let's um, get stick babe here. Let's see if I have one that's for exercising or something. Probably want to stick with the clear stickers. I don't think so, but we'll go with the one, um, this cute little girl, because we can go to the pool. And then on this one, I think what would be fun is the one watering the plants. Okay. Then we have Friday and Saturday, which is fun. We actually have something really exciting for Saturday. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the summer sticker book and you can see that all these kind of match with my washi. So I, you know, kind of planned that out. There goes my washi rolling back. So let's do a summer one. And this one, I'm gonna put the quote on this side because we are going out. So I don't really need to have notes there or whatever. So I'm gonna put it on Friday. And I definitely just want to use a vertical box. I want to start using all those up. I have so many of those stickers. I love this sticker book. I think you can still get this sticker book if you are looking. It's, I think, at Michael's because this came out in 2019. Maybe on the Happy Planners website. They've been doing a lot of sell stuff. Um, promotions. I really like this one. Even though it says, hello, summer. I'm kind of way past that. <laughs> oh, wait. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong side. Let me take this off. put something over there. I 
think I'm going to use these glasses. Okay, cute. So now let's go back to this sticker book. I have no idea which one I'm going to use for this these days. Um, oh, you know what? This one's perfect, actually. It kind of gives it... Um, it has like music and stuff. We're actually going to a concert. So that's going to be fun. She's like listening to music. Super cute. And then Friday. Let's. Let's do this one. Where she's like. Actually, you might be doing some shopping on Friday. This is the 22nd. Yeah. I'm gonna use this one, her throwing up money. I mean, it's not gonna be like crazy shopping, but I need to find something to wear to this concert. So I think Friday is the best day to do that because there's no camp on Friday. So that's kind of perfect. All right. And then lastly, we have Sunday. I did pull the Simply Gilded little freebie sampler that I got in my recently haul. And I thought this would be cute, even though it's a tad smaller. But it kind of matches. So why not go ahead and use it? And then we'll just do like a reset Sunday. We might be all wore out from Saturday. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this one. The one I was gonna pull in the other for the other page. That's really cute. And then maybe I should put a quote down here. Um, maybe I can use this one, clear sticker that says summer state of mind. That's cute. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just add the stickers real quick from here. Okay, friends, so here is a completed flip through of my pages, prepped and ready, so I don't have to worry about grabbing stickers or anything, and now I have to just map out my day there and these are the goals stickers here that i was referring to so i won't have enough to like complete this planner so i'll have to think up think up of another idea to do this i could just do a swatch of color if i needed to and just put goals um but again those are from functionally chic from live love posh and she has all the colors so it's like a rainbow collection um you can buy the whole set or you can buy them individually so super cute so this is monday and tuesday and then wednesday and thursday i did orange pink for friday and saturday super cute i also decided to put this sticker book here the erin condren kind of um seasonal one just in case i need it so it actually fits really nicely in here this this cover is so flexible so that's something else I can have for at the moment. And then I'll have more stickers here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little setup and how I'm using this planner. I love it. It's so cute. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye.